All right, guys, so how can you create this super simple vase or sculpture, whatever that is? So I found that's a pretty cool organic hard surface <laughs> mix design. And yeah, so it's extremely simple. So let's start. And if you want to improve your 3D skills even more, I have a series of high quality plasticity courses for beginners and intermediate users. And these step-by-step -step courses cover everything you need to know about surface modeling, product design, and the most effective and efficient techniques. You will quickly build confidence and save time with the clear structured learning path. So you can find all of my courses in the first link in the description box. And now let's dive in into our today's tutorial a new scene delete the cube and just let's have a look so very simple we have a circle at the top and the bottom and then we have those yeah flowy curves and we have most probably three of them maybe four on on, on the other side but i will just uh, do the shape with uh, three curves we will just create a center circle from the middle here so something like that and shift the duplicate and yeah, just bring it here to the front. And now what we want to do is we just want to create one curve and just snap anywhere. It doesn't matter where exactly. And just um, yeah, connect them in a straight way. And now shift S and shift S and shift S. So we want to subdivide it three times. And now just select this curve and go to radial array and just array around the center of the circle. And we just need three of those curves and press OK. And now, because you can't just uh, take one curve and create this shape and then array it all, to, uh, all over, because if we check out the reference image, you see here at the top, we have this rounding on the, on the upper half. And here on the other side, so we have this half here on the bottom, right? So we have to do it basically manually. So you can just take, or even we don't need it a three um, subdivisions. So select those in the middle and just press X to delete them and just take one point. And now you can do whatever you want and bring this one out. And then select the other one and at the bottom and bring the other one out and really just play around with the shape. Maybe you can, or maybe you want to bring this one a little bit more inwards. So you have a little bit of this effect at the top, right? But you can also bring them a little bit more to the side, right? So I have something like that, but yeah, it's infinite what you can do here. And now how we bring this yeah, smooth organic uh, shape into place. We will do this by if you select all of those curves and you press Alt J, then you unjoin them everywhere where they uh, intersect. Right. So where it's green and now we have um, yeah, all of those circles in, in, in three pieces. And now very simple, if you just select one and the other, and if you just love that, you can with shift s squeeze this into those boundary um, curves, or you select the other way around. So first those ones and then shift and shift. And this will give you a little bit um, different results. But let's do it this way first. So just uh, loft them from curve to curve. So without tangency and stuff. So something like that. Because now, so if you hide all of those curves, you have something like that. And go to surf, um, object mode, select all of those surfaces, J. And now with two and alt click. So if you select all of those uh, top edges and if you patch this, and the same here. So if you patch this, then it's okay. But 
we are missing here a nice fillet and again you can't just give here a fillet i mean you can but then you you see it's it's in the middle uh, larger than at the endpoints you can give it uh, try to give it your caudal but most of the time when you have something like that it doesn't work so what we want to do is we want to pipe this edge and then loft it manually so select this edge and press shift d duplicate this and we build the curve and go to points and just give it here 10 points or something or yeah more so it's exactly following the line of the edge something like that and now just press p and give it here some thickness so yeah something like that delete the curve in the middle press 3 phase mode because you have to uh, extrude this pipe so it's completely intersecting or going over it and now we want to so select this object and alt j again so unjoin so you have those surfaces uh, separate and now you want just to go one by one select this face shift click this pipe press q but press t so you keep the pipe you keep the tool so the pipe okay and now go to this surface and again shift click this pipe and now you can press q and you don't have to keep tools right now and now you have this hole here and let's quickly do it uh, on all of the sides so again just select this edge subdivide um, duplicate it rebuild it give it here a lot of points and give it the pipe and i think that was a little bit too thick so just give it a thin pipe so something like that delete the curve in the middle press 3 select this face extruded so select this face extruded and now press and now press tap select the surface shift click this pipe q press t to keep the tools first and now do the same here and let's do the last one perfect so we have all of those holes here in <laughs> different sizes but yeah whatever and, and now again press object mode and just join all of the surfaces and now super simple you can loft those edges again with g1 or even g2 and if you zoom in you can add here with shift click at the edge uh, with g0 uh, yeah, those edges here and the same at the bottom because you see it's not really aligned so just with shift click at those edges and then right click and then you see you have a very beautiful fillet here so you see it's it's yeah it's a bit too big but it's also perfectly smoothening into our circle here so also what we have here so i will do this as well so just loft that with g2 and again just shift shift and give it g0 because we have a sharp edge and you see when it's thinner that looks really good and now once you have everywhere added those surfaces just join them and now if you select this top piece and this dot, uh, bottom face and if you give it here hollow a sheet you can if you drag here a little bit with this uh, gizmo you see you can give it here a little bit of a uh, thickness and if you want you can close it here to the bottom but yeah you get the point and i just give it here a nice little fillet so you see how you can always achieve very different results it depends on your curves that you uh, created in the beginning and in which direction uh, you loved it so play a little bit around with that and again just for those who are interested to learn more about surface modeling and much more practical modeling i have surface modeling courses uh, it's the best on the internet it teaches you completely step by step how to create industrial design action cameras motorcycle helmet products i just launched a car modeling course for you who is a little bit more advanced so yeah first link in below this video check them out and if you don't want that's fine then leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss my next tutorials have a nice day bye